woke sports writers have gone insane and lost their minds. Did you see Pat Forty's tweet from courtside at the NCAA tournament? It doesn't even make sense. COVID has truly driven many sports writers insane. Pat Forty tweeted not saying this is a causal relationship but the three coaches who seemed the least interested in wearing their masks this season were Brad Underwood, Bob Huggins, and Chris Beard. Gone, gone, gone. What a weird thing to tweet courtside from the NCAA tournament. First of all, how insane are you if you are so obsessed with masks that you are not watching the actual game you are watching the coaches and how they are wearing their masks. Secondly, these guys had incredibly successful regular seasons. So are you suggesting that somehow the mask caught up with them in the postseason? That is illogical. It is insane. It is an irrational take. It is a Corona Bro on steroids take from Pat Forty and many other sports media members who have followed his lead. And on top of all this, if COVID is so incredibly dangerous, why are you traveling and covering any sporting event at all when you could theoretically watch it on television and write about it just like everyone else? If it's too dangerous in your opinion to play sports, how can you possibly justify traveling to cover sports when your job is clearly ancillary to the larger universe of these games taking place? It's a fantastic question that most sports media guys like Pat Forty and others continue to dodge. By the way, I know Pat Forty personally and I like him. He seemed totally normal to me until COVID drove him insane such that he's sitting courtside obsessively watching to see whether or not coaches are wearing masks in an arena where none of the players are wearing masks. All right, This is cosmetic theater. It makes no sense to have none of the players wearing masks to have none of the players in the huddle wearing masks and to have a coach wearing a mask it honestly is 100% nonsensical. So is the focus.